No matter what type of link suspension you are building, there's going to have to be some type of suspension joint at the end of each suspension link to allow the suspension to move. Now there's many different types and there's benefits and drawbacks for each one. On a stock suspension system, they use mostly rubber type joints. Now this is a piece of rubber with a steel sleeve vulcanized to the outer edge as well as to the inside of it for the bolt to go through. This is a stock replacement joint for a Jeep TJ upper suspension arm. The benefit to the rubber, well, it's there to remove any possible vibrations that would happen in the drivetrain before they can be transmitted up into the passenger compartment. Great for a vehicle that you're going to drive on the road every single day. The downfall is they don't articulate very well. And when you take your vehicle off-road and force them to flex, they tend to wear out prematurely and they are in need to be replaced. The other downfall is that they're usually found in some type of fixed link suspension system like this Jeep JK arm. That gives you no adjustability in your suspension at all. And that's why you will rarely see this type of setup in any type of high quality aftermarket suspension system. Most aftermarket suspension companies now use this type of rebuildable rod end. It gives you adjustment in the suspension thanks to the threaded shank and it's designed to articulate because the stainless steel inner ball is hourglass shaped designed to let the suspension move. Inside there are two Delrin sliders that if they ever do get worn out you can disassemble the joint and replace them. Those Delrin sliders are there to lubricate the bushing and to eliminate some vibration before it can get transmitted up into the passenger compartment. Now, if you're talking about a hardcore throwdown tube buggy, well, you're definitely going to be looking at some type of rod end or heim joint. They are incredibly strong, made of chrome moly steel, fully adjustable, and has a stainless steel ball inside that is lubricated by a Teflon liner. They are designed for maximum amount of articulation and maximum amount of abuse. The downfall to the rod joint is you will feel all the vibration in the suspension up into the passenger compartment. Not an issue for a tube buggy, but for something you're going to drive every day, that can become quite annoying. So, which joint do you choose? Well, if you're driving it on the street, you go for a rebuildable rod end. If you're hitting hills on the weekend, you go for a hardcore Heim joint.